Hello everyone and welcome to AK Academy. Finally we are here with this modern fantastic course. It's going to be the best and the biggest on this channel. Of course you loved the planner app and you reacted very positively on that course. Right now we have something similar. It's a practical project but it's going to be very big and full. Client side, server side and Azure with the cloud. It's going to be a very interesting course. A little bit long but Basically, it's going to cover everything you need to build any business application from business logic, validation, the services, storage, real-time, authentication, uh, validation, a nice UI, uh, deployment. Yeah, a lot of stuff is going to be covered within this course. Uh, to watch it, basically, I'm going to upload videos on that daily basis. It's going to be fast and quickly, but... And I'm trying to divide it by tasks. So if you don't need to watch the full course, you need just to watch a specific part like authentication, for example, or dealing with the Azure storage, uh, dealing with real time or only the client side, you can do this because I will go with this course by task by task. So before we get started, let me introduce myself for you. If you don't, me, if you don't know me already, I'm Ahmed Muzaffar, uh, currently working as a full stack .NET developer a Microsoft Certified Trainer, Certified Solutions Developer. Uh, you can know, get more information about me and check the blogs and uh, other things on my website, ahmedmuzaffar.net. You can check also the GitHub and Twitter on the links in the description and the screen in front of you. So, basically, let's, have, let's talk a little bit about the project we are going to have within this course. The project is going to be called Tickets Basket. I will describe what's, what it's going to do in a bit, but let's talk about the uh, parts we are going to have uh, generally. We will have ASP.NET Core API with the SQL Server Database Entity Framework Core uh, will be hosted on Azure and using all the Azure services from storage, SignalR, uh, authentication, Active Directory, and uh, AI, AI services, cognitive services, Azure functions, a lot of things are going to be covered, and the client is going to be basically a Blazor WebAssembly client. So, it's a very modern app that works with all the modern technologies right now required in the market, and it's going to be written and developed from scratch till deployment and make it real on the, um, on the server or, sorry, online, so you can read that app and work with it. It's going to be a very interesting journey. Let's see, talk in details about what that tickets basket is going to do. Basically, there is going to be two main roles, organizer and a user. The organizer had the ability to create its profile with all the required information to be able to create events such as conferences, exceptions, and set all the details of that event, like the number of tickets, the location, uh, full details about that. Then we will talk about uh, sorry, the user can able to upload attachments, able to upload a gallery for that event, and many more, and surely edit and delete those events, receive CVs for employment. Actually, each task of those is specified to learn something uh, specific thing within uh, developing modern software with the cloud. For this reason, I have put some tasks like this look like a little bit different than events such receiving CVs, but you will see this and I'm sure that you are going to enjoy it. And surely at the end, the organizer is going to be notified whenever a new user gets a ticket for a specific event. It will be notified via the email and via the signal R in the application. From the user perspective, the user, of course, can navigate all the organizers existing in the system and check the events by specific criteria. He can make filtering, advance it, filtering a little bit, react to those events, and he can reserve a ticket, check ticket validity, and submit a CV for employment. I have tried to add as many functions as I can to cover all the aspects, or as much aspects as I can, that you need in your real-world real experience in developing, or if you are currently learning in developing cloud applications, or if you only need to learn a blazer, or just to learn the API. All of this is going to be covered and 
we'll see more and more in the next video we'll see the requirements and the technologies we are going to use in details so thank you so much for watching uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with every new video and yeah see you in the next video